Hello everyone and welcome to a quick video that will go over the Auroverm fight. If you do not know, the Auroverm fight is the only way to get yourself some Pathos Clams, a resource that is extremely precious since it can be used to buy many high-class things, such as Arcanes and Oracan Potatoes. To access the Auroverm fight, you will first need to complete a story in the Doviri, so you need to complete the Doviri Paradox quest first as well. You can either do the Doviri Experience one or the Lone Story, depending on how good you are and if you want to get additional decrees. But at the end, it doesn't really matter which one you do. The last stage of the story will always be an Auroverm fight, and this is where the painful part begins. At this point, I need to mention that the Auroverm fight on normal difficulty differs from the one on Steel Path difficulty at some areas. Therefore, we will first go over the normal difficulty Auroverm fight, and then I will also show you the areas where it differs on the Steel Path difficulty. This video is extremely short, so if you want a full walkthrough, there is a little notification in the upper right corner or in the description down below, of me narrating the normal and the steel path fights in one video the whole walkthrough, so yeah. Okay, let's go now. You will first have to latch onto the Auroverm with your Orbius, given to you by the little Teshin's Devil Bunny. Latching onto the Auroverm can be difficult, so I suggest waiting for him and anticipating his movement. It is scripted to always circle around Viri, so you will get used to it after a few runs. Be sure to stay away from his head because he may burn you and kill you quite easily. Orworm will also blast his giant energy balls at you, which you can evade in the same way as rolling, or you can just shoot them down. But it takes some practice. You can also anticipate when the ball of fire will be shot by the explosive effects going towards the worm's head, all the way from its tail. After you latch onto the Auroverm, you need to make your way to his head. He will use an attack that can knock you down from him, but you can easily evade it by jumping over it and latching onto him again. When you come to his head, you can take control of him with the Interact button. With total control of the dragon, you need to destroy the two towers marked on the map. And after that, you also have to reach the portal. The time you possess the Auroverm is limited, so be sure to do everything quickly. The possession timer is at the bottom of the screen and there's also another bar which shows you the breath of the dragon, the ammo capacity, let's say, which recharges. So yeah, you don't have to worry about the ammo capacity. After you reach the portal, you'll be greeted by a not-so-happy Aura Worm. You have to know that he is a prisoner to Dominus Thrax, so you are set on saving the poor beast and release its shackles. First, you will need to destroy three red shackles that are around the Auroverm's body, which is the easy part. If you do not have a good weapon, Iron Jesus from the future or past or whenever will send you a massive machine gun that will do the job just fine, so be sure to pick it up. The Auroverm will attack in many ways, most of them being on the ground, so I suggest you stay mobile and off the floor as much as possible. After you destroy the Auroverm's shackles, you will then have to kill some enemies, and after that, you will have to repeat the process by releasing his shackles again. After you've done it for the second time, a swarm of Wormlings will come to aid the massive Auroverm. You just need to shoot them down and that's it. Quite an easy objective once again. And now you'll have to destroy the Auroverm's shackles again for the last time, freeing the beast and letting it escape Dominus Thrax's grasp. After you're done, you'll be rewarded with a chest filled with one rare decree and ten Pathos Clamps, which is not a lot, but it's better than nothing. And that is it about the Auroverm fight, on the normal difficulty. Now let's look at the Steel Path one. Steel Path difficulty brings some extra challenges to the table. The first challenge is opening two Auroverm's Void Gates. The only thing you need to do is get into the section where they are, the Red Shackles, and press the Interact button Till the arrows are pointed in the direction shown on the valve. After that, you'll have to possess the Auroverm again and destroy the two towers named Orthanc and Sirithungal. You will have to destroy them slightly faster than the normal missions too, so be extremely quick on this one. When it comes to the Auroverm fight, it is something else. After destroying the shackles for the first time, you'll have to saddle your cave that will be parked in the middle of the arena. With your cave, you'll have to go to the edge of the arena and fly around. 
at this point, wormlings will attack you and try to kill you, so screw them and shoot them down. This section may take a bit longer because the aiming of the... what is the gun? Subroko? I think it's Subroko, I'm, I'm not sure. Yeah, it's terrible. Absolutely terrible. Um, but yeah, I'm just talking here because I want to show some more footage about it. But yeah, I think that's enough, let's continue. When done, everything else is the same as the normal mission. The rewards you will get at the end are 15 Pathos Clams, 5 Steel Essens and a Rare Decree, which is not too shabby but a bit lackluster if you ask me. Now, you might have seen people saying that playing Steel Path stories is absolutely terrible idea and that the normal stories are a lot quicker to complete and stuff like that. Well, yeah, that is kind of true, but those people don't see the full picture. Let me elaborate. If you're farming Pathos Clams, I suggest you play on normal difficulty because the progress of the story and the Aura Worm fight will take much less time on average compared to Steel Path 1. Steel Path may be extremely difficult if you do not get the right decrease, but still, if you wish to do it, you're free to do so. I myself do Steel Path stories so I can farm the new Doviria Arcanes after the Aura Worm fight in the Undercrafts. I have done a video about the Doviria Arcanes already, so be sure to go and watch it. That is the main difference between the normal and the Steel Path stories. Extremely important if you want to get all the Doviria Arcanes. But yeah, that is pretty much it. Thank you for watching, please like, comment, share or maybe even subscribe and also have a very nice day. Bye guys!